slowly and close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath. And just allow all the learnings from today, yesterday, and the day before to be present. Just allow yourself to settle into your chair or your seat or whatever and just feel comfortable. And just allow yourself to feel a feeling of positive anticipation that's going to you know, create something magical. Make the choice that you desire to have a good relationship with money. Just make that choice with your eyes closed. Just choose it that that's what you'd like to create. And now, please make up in your mind that you're at a meeting with money. Just imagine you're at a fictional meeting with money. And that meeting might be at a beach or at a picnic or in a restaurant or it might be in your dining room or it might be a place that you're familiar with or not. Just imagine that you're at a meeting with money. And as you sit down at the meeting with money on a chair or on the floor or whatever's available for you to sit on, just notice how does money show up? Is money a person? Is money an energy? Is money a symbol? And sit down across from money and just notice how it shows up. Is it a sound? Is it a light? As you sit across from money, just take in what it feels like to be you at a meeting with money. What is it that you want to do? What is your goal? What might you want to say to it? How do you feel? Just acknowledge what it's like to be you at this made up meeting with money. And just breathe that in. What's my goal? What do I want? How do I feel? What am I thinking about? What does money look like? And now, just ask yourself, please, does the feeling that you get from money remind you of someone? Does it remind you of your relationship with a parent or a sibling? Is it one person, many people? Is it masculine? Is it feminine? What does it remind you of? If it reminds you of another person, just allow that person to be present in the meeting as well on the same side as money. Give me permission to please connect to your superconscious if you choose, just with your eyes closed, give me permission. And as you do, just allow yourself to float out of that position, float out of that first seat, float up, 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 and out of that seat, and imagine you float down and you become money looking back at you. Become money looking back at you, and just notice what it's like to be money looking back at you. Be money. Step into money's experience. See with money's eyes. Hear with money's ears. Become money looking back at you. And notice what's it like being money trying to have a meeting with you. What is that other person like? Like how do they act towards you? What is your feeling? What do you want from them? Become money looking back at you. Like how does it feel to try to be a friend with this person? What do you really want? Notice what that's like. Do you feel compelled to be that person's friend? What do they want from you? What's it like? What is your goal for the other person? Just acknowledge how it is. And now float up out of that experience and become super conscious. Allow you to float up, become super conscious and become the light. Have the ability to know what's happening on either side of the meeting with all involved, any family members and everything. 
please ask your superconscious what needs to happen for this person and money to be really good friends, to be comrades, to be amigos. What needs to happen for these two to be allies in creating a life they love? What needs to be let go of? What needs to be forgiven? What needs to be remembered? Superconscious, please create the perfect treatment plan so that everyone here on both sides of the meeting can just get along. Superconscious, please treat all resistance between these two and do a massive change history as needed so they become friends. Superconscious, please treat any past relationships, past regrets, past fears, all past events, and do a massive change history on all past events that are causing resistance between these two. And please treat any emotions of not being worthy or not being allowed. Now float back down into your body, back at the meeting with money. Float back down into your body, back at your meeting with money. Step into the experience, look through your own eyes, hear with your own ears, and be you at a meeting with money. And as you look across at that meeting, notice how money's changed. What's different? How are you different? What is your goal now? How does it feel different now when you're with money? What does it look like that's different? What's changed? Superconscious, please treat and do a massive change history until everyone is friends now. Yeah. Do whatever needs to be done to make up for past misdeeds and for everyone to be forgiven. And now explain to money your intention of how you want to have fun together, create a life you love, and make the world a better place. Explain to money your clarity of your intention, how much of it you will need to do all the fun things you want to do. And superconscious, make up this future memory of you and money having a great time and a great life together, doing amazing things for other people, for your family, and feeling really good. Superconscious, please reinforce this with love, joy, trust, and fun. And now just connect to how you will serve the world and add value. So explain to money how you will serve the world and add value. And if you don't know, just commit to finding ways of adding value to the world. Superconscious, treat any feeling of not good enough or unease or uncertainty into a massive change history when it comes to adding value to the world. Just knowing that you will find a way Superconscious ground all the memories we've touched today. Float back down into your body, back here, back to the session when you're ready. Open an eye. Wiggle a toe. Open another eye, have another breath. And come back to the session of wakeful consciousness and say hi when you're back. are amazing.
easy. I just talked to a lady the other day who did this process and she told me she just just created a $1.6 million a year business and quit her teaching job. So what she did is she realized that other teachers needed lesson plans. So she made all these lesson plans and then put them online for $9 a month and has like thousands and thousands of teachers paying her $9 a month. And it just, rem it just came to me as we were doing that session. I was like, hey, I remember that story. It's pretty cool. So can I ask, uh, what's different? What's changed for you? Where's your number now? What was your number before you did that process? Maybe it was a six. And what do you feel like it's now when it comes to having the money you choose? Nice. There's some good numbers. Wow. Oh, then we're doing, we're doing... We're doing it, eh? Love you guys. I mean, if you can shift this, what else can you shift, eh? So happy that you guys are here. Awesome. Yeah, wow. Wow, I'm loving reading all of your comments. And so, if it only just occurred to you that you could add value to the world, and that's the way that you, what you need to think about receiving money, good for you. That's the first realization. And if it only just occurred to you, the difference between Joe and Bob is that Bob created something instead of just trading time for money. And if it only just occurred to you that you will do good with money, then you've made an absolutely massive shift. And if you just let go of one little emotion, right? Someone just typed, this is all pre-recorded. And all I have to say to that is, yes, I'm so happy and welcome to 2017. <laughs> it's not pre-recorded, you dorks. <laughs> So, love you guys. Love you guys. So, hey, hey, was that a good sub? Hey, tomorrow, um, we, we've got an amazing session, and it's, um, it's about uh, quantum jumping. 